the government of india has released the draft indian marine fisheries bill 2021 causing a stir among the fishing community the fishermen in tamil nadu held massive protests and strikes across the strait against the bill on august 9 the government of tamil nadu has also spoken against the bill and the center's infringement on its rights so we are here came here for protesting the indian marine fisheries bill 2021 so this bill is completely against the odds against all fishermen especially we can say lot of things against the fishermen community and the traditional fishing and the, the i mean the act is saying that this bill is uh, exemption from the uh, traditional fishermen only when they are using the non traditional i mean uh, non motorized boat so non motorized boat now nobody is using it is already outdated rest all are using from the small engine to bigger engine but this bill is saying only this bill exemption for non motorized boat this is completely wrong assumption and they have to come to the uh, sea shore area and to check what we are using first and secondary what they are saying in this bill and from the small engine to bigger engine and all size of all variety of fishing boats are come under only one word it's called fishing vessel it is completely wrong assumption because fishing vessel means it it has lot of extra equipment navigational equipment communication equipment but you can see the normal fishing boats are nothing we don't have anything and we are having very minimum equip, equipment on this boat then how we can uh, come into the only one line called fishing vessel it is completely wrong assumption from the central government and this has to be taken back and this bill Indian Marine Fisheries Bill 2021 should be completely taken back. It, it is completely against the fisherman. And third thing, and all the fishing vessel, they are saying the notation Indian fishing vessel should register under MS Act 2021 Merchant Shipping Act. Merchant Shipping Act 1958 is comes for only the fishing vessels and bigger vessels. so they they have lot of rules and regulation under classification society if one boat if any fishing vessel they should have this kind of engine and this kind of uh, safety equipment and you should have such a uh, naval architecture uh, designed oriented but how can we go for naval architecture design oriented boats it is completely wrong assumption first assumption non motorized boat exemption and second is all comes under only one name fishing vessel and third and registered under ms fishing uh, ms uh, shipping act 1958 the bill has classified all the traditional fiber and mechanized boats on par with high end fishing vessels moreover the bill has mandated the obtaining of licenses and licensing fee for fishing for the traditional fishermen the fishermen have raised fears over the threat of being driven away from the seas when we go for fishing we have to go to the authorized license agency to get the license for fishing and first we have to go for registration of fishing boats it is completely not possible this law has come and they will they have such a certain kind of committee that committee will decide when to fish and when to not fish and they have no fishing zone no fishing zone means you cannot go for fishing and when they give the license when this authorized license officer when they give the license and they they will say that this area from north point to south point this latitude this this longitude you cannot go for fishing how how, how can we go how can we do fishing with this kind of attitude this kind of law so it is completely wrong and there are many other things are there in the 16 pages law, i mean this uh, masoda bill and around 14 pages are against the traditional fisherman only few points here and there that uh, foreign fishing vessels cannot come for fishing in aez exclusive economic zone it is okay but another 14 pages are completely against the fisherman especially only 12 nautical miles is come under the state government uh, fishing act and above the 12 nautical mile miles to 200 nautical mile plus high seas high seas are 12, 200 nautical miles plus it is comes under the indian marine fisheries bill and we have to take two separate license one license for 12 nautical mile and another license for above 12 nautical miles it is absolutely wrong how can we traditional fisherman go for two two license yeah if we take local license 12 nautical mile license if we cross the 12 nautical mile border how can we know that 12 nautical mile we cannot go and measure each and every point no if we go above the 12 nautical mile and we have to go for jail and this guy will say you are you came you come to the central government point and you will be under arrest this is completely wrong and they don't have any sense they have to come to the beach or uh, seashore area to check each and every point and they should discuss with fishermen and we should give the good suggestion that 
present situation, what is the condition, and what kind, what is the against against this bill? We are requesting central government and fisheries department to taking care of this, and this this bill has to be withdrawn completely because from the point one to point last, this masoda, this bill is against the traditional fishermen, and we are minimum kapa makal yekam and plus. Tamil Nadu Puducherry Minamur Kutamipu, we are kindly requesting central government and state government to withdraw the bill as soon as possible to save and to protect the fisherman community.